Question 1. What do you know about the initial process in the first phase during the system booting? Answer. There is actually a special process which is termed as swapper. The same is automatically get created while booting. All the activities and tasks that are handled by the CPU during the booting are managed by the swapper. When it comes to memory allocation, it's swapper that helps the CPU in processing all such needs. Question 2. Can you tell a few benefits that data integration and analysis can have? Answer. There are several advantages that a business can has and it is not always necessary that all the businesses can have all of them at the same time. Many factors are there which can impact them. The basic pros associated are efficient data usage cost-effective approaches for maintaining information and data, reliable and timely reporting can always be assured, flexibility can be achieved without bulk investment, risks can be eliminated. Question 3. What are the subparts of the swapper that get created during the memory allocation? Answer. These are the flush, bhund and process adapter. All these three tasks work in parallel and make sure that process goes smoothly and without violation of any of the policies. It is possible for the users to manage these subparts with different IDS. This is generally done for authentication and security purposes. Question 4. Can you name a few system calls which you can use for managing the process? Answer. These are fork which is used basically for creating a new process. Second is nice which is used to handle the process with priorities. Third one is gate thief which is used to call the process identifier. Fourth is BRK which has a special use and IE to boost or to cut down the size of data segment. Question 5. While managing a process, a user need to have various SID. Can you tell something about these SIDs which are related with the process? Answer. They are generally called as process IDS. The OS identify them with the help of different IDS that user can create and assign to the tasks. The concerned process that user manages is called as parent process. The user is called as owner and is responsible for directing and controlling the concerned ID. For execution, it is possible in the COFAX software to manage the tasks through different IDS without any restriction. For access privilege, users can enable various restrictions on the process. This can sometimes boost the runtime but can eliminate all the bugs and errors. Question 6. Can you define data integration in your own words? Answer. During different process, there is always a need to combine the data for generating the desired output. It is not always necessary that the data is having the similar sources. The main aim of the user for combining the data is to have a unified or a proper view. In organizations, the information or the data which is combined or integrated can be from the different domains. You Users need not to worry if the data that needs to be combined is based on different technologies. Question 7. What is the difference between the parent and the child process? Answer. A user is free to divide a process into two modules. The one from which the new process is created is called as parent process and the new one is called as child process. It is possible that both of them can be deployed for the same purposes and can have similar properties. Question 8. What exactly do you mean by white box testing? Answer. When the applications are developed, there is always a need to test the structure internally which provides the useful information regarding the working of an application. This is done what could happen when the application is used for performing the other tasks that its specialization. The same concept is considered as white box testing. White box testing is also called as transparent box testing. It is not always necessary that an application is peered internally for performing this task. Actually, this software testing method is best in every aspect and this is because it is possible for the users to apply it anywhere they want. Question 9. What exactly do you know about the fork in Kofax? Answer. Fork is basically a tool or a command with the help of which it is possible for the users to perform two important tasks. First it can be used for separating a child process from a parent. Second it help in the execution of instructions for both of them in. Some users also consider it for judging the quality of the output before a task is actually executed. Question 10. In Kofax. Is it possible to create a new process from the one that is existing? Answer. Yes, it is possible. There is a need for it when a specific process becomes too complex to work with. This is similar to dividing a process into two other more modules. Generally only one process is created from other. Also, it is possible.
possible for the users to handle them with same instructions and at the same time. Question 11. Is it possible that the child and the parent process can communicate with each other? Answer. Yes, it is possible. Any inter process approach for the communication can be deployed for this. Also, there are some special methods that can be used. Basically, with some commands, it is possible that the parent can govern the entire control on the child process. Question 12. What exactly do you know about kernel? What is its significance? Answer. During a program, the kernel used always keeps some of the useful data along with it. This is because there are chances that the parent process may call it. A simple process is executed for this and the entire control on the information is grabbed by the parent. However, there is always a strict upper limit on the information that the kernel can keep with it. Users are free to assign priority to any information or they can change the default information.